Amen. Can you hear me? Amen. Hello, how was Adi? Yes, Amen. We also have a participant, hello, David. Hello. I'm saying we also have one participant, David Dutta, online. All right. So, David, we will start uh, in another eight to ten minutes, okay? Yes. We're waiting for us to the participants to join.
Thank you everyone for joining us. We still have four minutes to go. We will wait for other participants to join and then we'll be begin today's session. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us for today's webinar. My name is Pratika Vansal, and I'm the Regional Manager of South Asia at American University of the Caribbean School of Medicine. AVC is one of the leading provider of MD degree in the Caribbean for the last 40 years, and now with a new offshore campus in Preston, UK. Today, we'll be talking about how to become a doctor, in US and UK, what are the steps? What are the basic requirements? How AUC can help you pursue your dream of studying medicine? Today, me and my colleague, Ame, will present you this webinar. We'll take up your questions at the end of the session. Any queries, any questions that you might have? Just a little housekeeping. Before we get started, if you have any questions during the presentation, please type them into the question box of your chat box. We will bring them up at the end of the presentation. Now, without further ado, let's get started. 
Ame, over to you. And let's start today's session. Thank you, Pratika. Uh, welcome, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining us for today's webinar. My name is Dame Teli, and I'm the uh, Relationship Manager India at American University of Caribbean School of Medicine. Uh, as Pratika said, uh, AUC is one of the leading provider for uh, helping students to pursue MD degree in Caribbean RM in uh, from last 40 years. And now we are uh, now with a new offshore campus in Preston, Preston UK. Today we will be taking about uh, talking about our MD degree program, the UK campus student recruitment, and our plan during COVID. I uh, am joined with uh, Ms. Pritika Bansal. And um, with, uh, before we start with uh, before we start, if you have any questions during the presentation, please type them in the question box uh, into the GoTo webinar chat panel. I will bring them up. At the end of the presentation, we will also have time for question at the end. At the end, and this uh, this session is basically a recorded session. So, in case if you miss anything, you will have the recorded uh, recorded version on your email. So, uh, uh, um, without uh, further ado, let's get started. As uh, as I said, we represent American University of Caribbean School of Medicine. Now we are uh, having an offshore campus, which is at the University of Central Lancashire, which is at UK at Preston. Um, so the student have an option now uh, to pursue their MD program uh, in U uh, in Caribbean Ireland and in UK campus for the students who have their bachelor's degree in India. And the students who have or just passed high school, a student uh, will be pursuing their three and a half years MD program in UK campus at UCLan. And to, for the clinical rotation, students have option to do the clinical rotation in US, either in UK. So uh, before we start, uh, here's a few details about um, uh, in case uh, if you don't have any of our details, um, um, this is Pritika's Pansal contact details. In case I am not reachable, you can feel free to contact Pritika Pansal. So she'll be there to help you out. <coughs> Um, here's my detail basically. So um, you can note it down if you have any uh, after the session. If you want to personally uh, ask any questions, either if you have any doubts or the queries, you can feel free to WhatsApp me on this number. Either you can email me on my email ID, will be there to help you out. So, why AUC? As I said, that AUC has a um, history of helping students to pursue medicine program from last 40 years. It's an US-based curriculum uh, which AUC is helping students to pursue this medicine program. And the best part about our university is that we have inbuilt USMLE examination in it. And um, as I said, uh, we have an inbuilt USMLE examination. We have 96% of success rate to help students to pass USMLE step one in first attempt. We have um, 92% success rate to help students to apply for the residency program in first attempt. So 8% is not an um, um, failure basically, but uh, with AUC students apply from overall world and uh, because it's a uh, long program of four years and 5.5 years, most of the students go back to their home country. Some of the students are not going into the clinical part, so they apply into some healthcare management program. So what, what I mean is here is that that eight percent is not in failure. It's just that you know student some of the students go back to their home country. Either they apply for some other program. So uh, ninety two percent is also in good success rate. What AUC ha has. And the best part again is that uh, we are recognized by Medical Council of India. And we are even recognized by GMC UK. So uh, after pursuing this MD program, student can up, uh, come back to India. Up uh, uh, later on, it's going to be a next examination, which student will have to appear. Each and every student have to appear this examination, and practice as an MBBS doctor in India. In case student have to apply to uh, UK for post graduation, they have to uh, they have to give an entrance exam called PLAB later on, which is going to be an UK MLE. So after clearing this examination, they can apply for their post graduation in UK as well. So uh, we have good clinical opportunities in US and UK, and uh, we have expertise, expert uh, faculties. So <clears throat> here's where uh, our St. Martin um, campus is located, where it's a small island with 
with a population of 73,000. Um, 73,000. It's in uh, Saint Martin's is basically divided into two parts. One is uh, French and another is Dutch. So um, AUC is located at the Dutch part of it, uh, where the temperature, the weather conditions in uh, the island is somewhere between 28 degrees Celsius. And the, um, if students have to go to the Saint Martin's option, um, it's a uh, student will find very good options for the restaurants. Uh, it's um, a very good place to stay. Um, and um, we can find, you know, um, um, there are a lot of Indian restaurants as well in the St. Martin's camp, uh, St. Mart Saint Martin's Island. So it's a good place to stay. The other campus which we have that is in UK at Preston, uh, which is a network city, cheap student city and best place to live. Whereas um, it's basically has a um, U plan is based on the northwest of England, so it's not completely in the uh, not in the U uh, in England part. So comparatively, it's not very much expensive. So it's very cheap, uh, cheap student city where um, um, it's an, a good place to stay basically there, and there are a lot of universities located there. So you know, uh, there are a lot of um, um, yeah, we have in campus housing options where. There are also in, uh, out uh, campus options available for the students. It's a growing city and safe city uh, where UCLan is based. Where this is uh, this is uh, the St. Martin's housing option. What AUC has, so uh, uh, we have full of internet access, a full equipment kitchen, uh, air uh, air conditioning provided to the students. The laundry rooms fully furnished. This is where the uh, uh, St. Martin's housing options look like. The UK options are uh, uh, camp uh, in campus options. Uh, campus looks like this. So we have uh, similar to these uh, St. Martins. The, all the facilities for the students have been provided um, to our students. So uh, I will start with the basic step to uh, become a doctor in US. So the first step uh, I will just compare between Indian studies and US studies. So to to in India, how it works is that after pursuing high school, uh, we have to prepare for an entrance exam for NEET, uh, undergraduate NEET. On the basis of this NEET uh, ranking, we get a seat into and five years of MBBS program into a medical college. And after this five years of MBBS program, we uh, um, they get a degree, students get a degree at an MBBS doctor, where again they have to prepare for an entrance exam called NEET PG, and on that basis they get a seat into post graduation in India, and that's how they become an MD doctor in India. Where in US there is no um, uh, no MBBS program, there's a direct MD program, where to get into this MD program, students could not directly apply into a medical college. So the first step in US is that they apply into a pre-med program for four years into a BST honors program. The second step is that um, after completing four years of MD program, students apply for an MD program into a medical college for four years. So overall, it takes eight years to be an MD doctor, which is equivalent to an MBBS program. So as I said, India has neat examination to apply for post graduation. US has US MD examination to apply for the residency program. After completing MBBS in India, we call post graduation um, in India where in US it is called as a residency program. Where in India we pay tuition fee, pay, uh, pay tuition fees to do our post graduation. In US, this residency program are paid by US federal government to the students. But uh, to get an admission into this residency program, students have to pass step one, uh, that is undergrad uh, pre-med program. Step two, it's uh, four years of MD program and students have to pass US MLS step one and step two examination. As I said, the step three is to apply for the residency program, where this residency program is of three to five years, depending on the uh, uh, student uh, interest uh, on the speciality. So um, the reason why I have written it's seven years is that because after uh, the residency program, if students have to apply for a super specialization, then at the, uh, in US, it is, it is called as fellowship program. The fellowship program is basically of two years. So overall, it, it becomes three to seven years, where um, this uh, this US family has basically three steps and four examination. So this step three can be given uh, before applying for the residency program, yeah, after completing the residency program. And 
after uh, after completing the residency program students uh, can apply for an uh, to apply for a job in us either they can apply for a fellowship program in us so this is a basic step to become a doctor in us so how auc help you here is that Instead of four years of pre-med program, as I said, we are affiliated with the University of Central Lancashire. So um, UK basically have a pre-med uh, BSc honors program of three years. So we have passed with this program into two years of pre-med program. And uh, instead of four years, we will be helping our students to pursue the pre-med program in two years, uh, uh, taking in the mind the student doesn't miss any of these subjects. After two years of uh, a pre-med program students get an admission into fifth semester of uh, third semester of our md program where we help them to prepare for one year of basic science parallelly us family step one um, then they get an admission into two years of clinical rotation so i will give you a clear picture how the 5.5 years program looks like and uh, as i said um, uh, has auc has an inbuilt us md examination in it we help them to apply for the residency program in in us and after completing the residency program as i said they can apply for a job in us either they can apply for a fellowship program in in us either they can come back to india and practice as an md doctor in india after completing the residency program so this is uh, this is the basic step to become a doctor in us so i will give you a, key, a clear picture how um, the uh, program will look like a uh, program looks like this is the program for the graduate entry students, for the students who have their bachelor's degree in India, the students who have done BDS, the students who have done BSc Biology, Biochemistry, and other programs who have already studied Biology, General Chemistry, Organic Chemistry, Physics subjects. They get in direct admission into our four years of MD program, where we help them to prepare for two years of basic science, parallelly US Assembly Step 1. Now, the reason behind uh, why we have kept this US Assembly Step 1 in the middle, because um, most of the student, uh, Indian students either, they don't know how to prepare for this US Assembly examination. Uh, and uh, the preparation in US goes, uh, while they're preparing for the basic science, students have to prepare for US Assembly Step 1 examination because the preparation goes very much parallelly. The subjects what they prepare in their basic science, the same subjects will be there in US Assembly Step 1. So it becomes easier to crack this examination and the, uh, the, the preparation goes very much parallel. Again, the best part about our university is that after completing these two years of uh, medical science curriculum, you plan to offer level seven qualification, which is a postgraduate diploma into international medical science, which is which can be an exit point for the students who think that you know the medicine program is not for them. The reason behind this uh, qualification is provided by UPLAN is that because some of the students, you know, after uh, two years, after one year of completing the program, they end up, you know, thinking that medicine program is not for them and they um, invest their one year, uh, one either two years of time and, you know, money and they end up with uh, nothing. So basically, uh, instead of that, uh, UPLAN, after pursuing these two years of program, UCLAN will be offering a level 12 qualification which is a postgraduate diploma into international medical science. On that basis, they can apply for some healthcare management program in UK, either um, in UK. <clears throat> and uh, if they wanted to continue, uh, the uh, cell the qualification will be provided by UCLAN to, uh, to AUC students. So the preparation goes uh, um, up while they're preparing for basic science, we help them to prepare for USMD 7. Once they clear US assembly step one, then only they'll be eligible to move on to the clinical rotation. So the clinical rotation, students have option either to do it in UK, either to do it in US. Um, if they wanted to, uh, if they wanted to do the residency program in US, we mostly suggest students to do the clinical rotation in US only because the healthcare system in US and the healthcare system in UK has a little bit of difference. So we suggest. Um, students to do and if the student wanted to do apply for the post graduation in UK then student can do the clinical rotation in UK as well so while doing this clinical science subjects we help them to prepare for US MD step 2 examination and as soon as they become a graduate we help them to be, uh, apply for the residency program on the basis of their uh, degrees on the basis of their US MD scores so this is how our, our graduate entry programs look like 
where um, this is our 5.5 years program where uh, high school students can apply for this program. As I said, um, this program is majorly going to be in UK. Student doesn't have any option to go to the Caribbean island here. Student will be the, after, um, for the high school students, uh, we do not require any medical admission test to apply for this 5.5 years program because starting of the program student apply for an BSc honors into medical science degree. So for to applying to BSc program, there is no any medical admission test required. In case student have given undergraduate in the, in the uh, Indian student has given undergraduate need, we can accept that score and uh, student can get the admission. If student haven't go, uh, given any medical admission test, students still get an um, admission here. So after two years of BSc program, students who have not given the medical admission test, we ask them to give UCAT examination in UK. And after clearing UCAT only, they will be getting an admission into our M MD program. They get advanced into our MD program. So here, um, um, after clearing two years of BSc program, students get an admission into third semester of our MD program, where um, we, uh, after uh, uh, we help them to prepare for their basic science for one year. We are uh, parallelly we uh, AUC help them to prepare for USMD Step One examination. Once they clear USMD Step One, that's how they go advance into clinical rotations. The same uh, again, the options for the clinical rotations. Uh, uh, the student have to do it in UK, either to do it in US, parallelly USMD Step Two, and the, uh, once they become a graduate, we help them to apply for the residency program in US. Even here, students get a um, uh, level four, uh, seven qualification after completing uh, three years of MD, uh, three years of program. So you can help them. Uh, you can uh, give them an, a level seven qualifications that is pro postgraduate diploma into international medical science. And um, if on that basis, they, uh, if they want, uh, this can be an um, exit point for the students who think that you know medicine program is not for them. So here uh, there are two exit points for the students. One can be after two years of uh, BSc program, and another program, uh, another exit point can be after pursuing one year of medical science curriculum by getting more uh, um, by getting level seven qualification by UK. So this is how our 5.5 uh, years program looks like. The career pathway after MD pro pursuing MD program with us. Um, so as I said, that uh, we are recognized by GMC. So student can prepare. Currently, it is FLAB, FLAB Part One, FLAB Part Two. They have to register themselves in GMC, and they can apply for a postgraduate program um, in UK. <clears throat> the second option, what student have is to they can after pursuing this 5.5 years either four years of MD program, student can uh, come back to India, clear, uh, M uh, register themselves in MCI later on, which is going to be a next examination, apply for and apply for the post graduation in India as well. And has it a, uh, this, uh, the, uh, the AUC offerings are basically a pathway to apply for the residency program in US. Uh, if students want to continue to do the residency program, we help them to apply for the residency program. As I said, the residency program is of three to five years, depending on the speciality they are interested in. They can clear USMD part three, uh, step three, and they can uh, apply for a job in US. Either they can apply for a license uh, fellowship program in US. So these are the career pathway after pursuing MD program with AUC. <coughs> So, uh, what are the um, start? Um, uh, what are the intakes which we have for for graduate entry students? We have Jan, May, and September. Um, and for 5.5 years high school students, we currently only have Jan and September as an intake. Earlier, we only had September intake, but now we have Jan and September both the intake. So, the students who are looking. Uh, uh, recently to get an admission into our MD program, they can apply for our September intake. And the students who have their bachelor's degree in India, they can apply for our May 2021 intake. So uh, the program entries and admission requirements uh, for the high school uh, students with at least required 60 to 65% in two science subjects. 
we uh, there's an English requirement either IELTS or the TOEFL. How much is the uh, how much how much bands we require? I will show you in the upcoming slides. Um, um, if they have any um, uh, the medical admission test uh, is basically for the high school student is um, optional if they have given undergraduate need either um, mcat ucat we can accept that score if they haven't given any medical admission test this is an option for the bachelor students we require at least 60 percent in their bachelor's degree uh, there's a medical admission test which students have to give so which are the medical admission tests which we accept i will show you in the upcoming slide we required official transcript we required a letter of recommendations we require their uh, resume that is cv uh, which have their education, employment history, and uh, the prerequisites. So, the, what are the prerequisites? I will show you in the upcoming slide. So. To get an admission into a four years of MD program, um, students have to study uh, so in their bachelor's degree. They should have studied biology, one year general chemistry, organic chemistry, physics subjects. If they have studied the subjects, then only students will uh, will be eligible to get an admission into a four years MD program. And if, if they miss out any of the subjects, then they will have to take. Uh, if they miss any of the subjects, then they will not be eligible to get an admission into our program. So the medical admission test, which we required uh, for high school students, as I said, it's an optional. And for the graduate entry students, we accept MCAT, UCAT, uh, undergraduate need, CAMSAT. And earlier, we have even started accepting CASPER, which is an aptitude based test uh, where students have to give this exam very much. Uh, it's online examination and very cheap examination, a uh, $24 exam, where it is basically based on the app, uh, which is an aptitude based test. English requirements. Um, for graduate entry students, we uh, if the student is giving IELTS, we require at least 6.5 in all areas. If they are giving TOEFL, then we require at least 80 above. For 5.5 year students, we required uh, six in all areas, and TOEFL we require at least 75 above. So these are the English requirements which EUC requires to get admission. For the, what are the supporting documents which we require? So we required a personal statement, which should be no longer than 750 words, which should say, why do you want to get admission into our medicine program? We required for 5.5 years program, we required only one letter of recommendation, which can, uh, which from, uh, we, which should be given from the science teacher to us. And we required a CV. For graduate entry students, we required two letter of recommendation. One can be professional and another can be academic letter of recommendation. To the application process with AUC is that uh, they can visit our website and start filling the application. Uh, once they submit the documents, which are their official transcript, letter of recommendation, personal statement, CV, we move them to the interview stage. There is an interview which happens, which uh, which is basically an online uh, interview, uh, on which is only for graduate entry students. Um, online recording. Um, uh, once they go uh, after the interview, so admission uh, admission team takes two weeks of time to to review the application. Once uh, uh, after after the you know uh, once they review their application, a student get to know whether student is accepted or not. Once students get accepted, they get a confirmation letter and they get an they have to pay an initial deposit of thousand dollars. Uh, and this thousand dollars will be deducted from their first semester of their fees. There we help them to apply for the visa, and that's how their MD journey starts. Type of visa we required uh, for the Saint Martin campus um, uh, for the graduate entry students. We uh, students have to go with the Dutch visa. For the UK campus, students have to go with the Thai for student visa. And uh, for the clinical rotation, students have to uh, have to apply for the B1, B2 visa, which is a tourist visa, uh, which will be required for the clinical rotation if students have to do in the clinical rotations in US. So these are the um, type of visa which uh, students will have to apply. 
to get an admission in our program. So the cost of uh, we have we have basically um, uh, did some research in cost of studying medicine in India, US, UK versus AUC. So getting an admission in India uh, in, in private college, it's a five years MBBS program where uh, the private colleges somewhere cost around 25, 30 lakh rupees per year. And uh, this is a minimum calculation what we have done, which goes on the higher side itself. Uh, and if students have to take an admission into post graduation again into in private colleges, the expense is totally different. So what we have calculated, the minimum is somewhere between 160,000 US dollars uh, pursuing medicine program in India. Where in US, if they go into and particularly four plus four uh, years of MD program, they end up spending four, uh, 400,000 US dollars. If they wanted to pursue an MBBS degree uh, in, in UK, so UK has uh, five years and two years of PG program so they end up spending 260,000 US dollar where with AUC we offer $80,000 scholarship for international students and AUC uh, tuition fees for 5.5 years program is 264,000 US dollar 264,000 US dollars and uh, we offer a scholarship uh, of eighty thousand dollars for international students, where uh, for the graduate entry students, the tuition fees without uh, after uh, without scholarship is two hundred and fifty four thousand US dollars, and after scholarship is one hundred and seventy four thousand US dollars. So the tuition fees um, um, with AUC somewhere comes around one point five CR uh, with AUC. So this is where the uh, small research what our uh, AUC team has done. And uh, here's the living expenses uh, of UK. So we are uh, because it goes uh, in a weekly uh, students have to pay. So on the lower budget students somewhere end up spending uh, 130 pounds weekly and on the higher side students end up spending 400 pounds. 340 to 400 pounds, which is completely depend on the student living side. So this is the overall living uh, expenditure what student will be spending on uh, food in food laundry internet books everything after pursuing an md program as i said uh, auc helped them to apply for the residency program so here's um, the potential earning during the residency program from the first year of the residency program as i said um, the residency program are paid by US federal government to the students where they get a um, stipend of 50 to 60,000 US dollars annually depend, um, dep uh, depending on the speciality they are interested in and year on year it goes on increasing. So basically applying for the residency program is unlike an applying for a job in US. So what they required is a good grades, good US and scores and good CV to get matched into the residency program. So after the residency program, when students apply for the, uh, uh, once they start, uh, when, when they start the job, this is what they earn. So this slides looks very much interesting, but uh, to, uh, to, to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to achieve this, students have to pass uh, uh, the MD program, students have to pass USMD scores, should have a good CV and after completing the residency program, this is what they earn. So the family medicine um, doctor in US or what US federal government says that they should at least earn 115,000 US dollar to 200,000 US dollar per year. So this is what the earnings will be if they, once they get a license to practice in US. The US family preparation, um, um, a, um, uh, uh, how AUC help is uh, we uh, are tied up with Kaplan, where Kaplan will be helping our students with their hard copy study materials, be recording videos, and once the preparation is done, uh, uh, AUC give them a mock examination called NBME. If they score a good score in NBME, then only our students are 
uh, allowed to give the main examination. That's the reason we are able to achieve a success rate of 96% to pass USMB step one first attempt. So, so as I said, um, after pursuing uh, MD programs with us, um, we have a, a residency expert who will be helping them with their application timeline, with their CV editing, match advisor, on the basis of their grades and their USMD score. We will, uh, our residency experts will suggest them which state they can apply, either which specialty they apply, will be easier to get in. Uh, uh, will be easier to get matched into the residency program. So we have an expertise who will be helping them to apply for the residency program on the basis of the grade, USM score, and their CV. So um, here uh, we are done with the uh, session for today. So in case if you have any doubts or the queries, um, you can feel free to put them in the chat box. Either you can unmute yourself and uh, ask the questions. We'll be happier to answer. Thank you, Amin. Thank you for sharing the uh, details with all of us. We have a quick poll that I would like to launch before we take up the questions that we have. We want to understand what level of education it is. So it will help us, it will make us make easy for us to contact you and guide you accordingly. So I'll wait for another second and then we'll ask uh, the next question. We also would like to know if before COVID, during COVID or this year, like last year in September, were you able to give NEET UG or PG? Have you given any other set of exam? Or, uh, you know, if you have not yet given any exam and you're planning to, so just let us know. All right, we'll wait for a couple of more seconds and then we will close the poll. All right, thank you. So um, there are a couple of questions around the admission process. So we would like to tell you that if you are an undergrad student, you can is currently taking at least two months to process the application because of the huge interest and due to COVID, we have a limitation of staff as well. So if you are planning to start in September this year, uh, we would suggest uh, that you do the application immediately. And uh, as I said, it's a minimum two months time that we are taking to process your applications and everything. Secondly, for uh, we have another question for UK visa. So uh, me and Ami are going to help you out with the application for the UK student visa from India. We will guide you with the documents that you will need. It's completely online. You need to fix an online appointment. You need to fix an online form. It's pretty basic. You need to get a TB test done. So there is a medical test that you need to get done from the the authorized centers in India, and then you go and submit the documents in person, and then the visa outcome is received in two weeks' time, maximum. Even if you are running out of time, they, uh, the UK embassy has a provision of doing, uh, uh, expediting the visa process. You can, if you pay extra, you can get it done. You can get the outcome in five days' time, and you can also get an outcome uh, within 24 hours. So that would not be a problem. And, uh, so there's another question regarding the COVID. So when you are landing in UK, be it for our graduate entry program or undergraduate later on this year, for now you have to undergo a mandatory of 14 years of quarantine. So there are set rules that you need to follow. And this is not funded by uh, uh, the government or university. You will have to take your accommodation on your own. So that is what the current requirements are. Um, uh, if for some reason the COVID situation doesn't get better by the end of this year or before the September intake starts, so uh, we will be uh, doing our classes online. But as of now, that does not look that is not the case. Even in May for our graduate entry program, we are doing classes face to face, so that would not be a problem. Then we have another question regarding the scholarships. So we are offering international scholarship to all international students who would be applying for grad or undergrad entry this year. We have um, international scholarship worth 80,000 US dollars, right? It can only be decided once you have made an application 
and uh, once for applying for undergrad entry program UCLA has a set different set of um, uh, scholarship uh, if you are eligible if you are falling under that category they will provide you on the UCLA tuition fee AUC scholarship is different in AUS uh, UCLA scholarship is completely different so you can um, uh, apply for both and okay, you might have a chance to even be eligible for both the scholarships we have some handouts. We have some brochures in the handout section. You can uh, download them for your uh, ready references. And um, you know you already have our contact details on the screen. If you have any questions, anything, um, any anything that you would like to know about the program, about the admission process, intakes, please feel free to reach out to us. You can email us, and uh, or you can call or WhatsApp us. So that will be all for today's session and uh, we hope to see you um, uh, soon in person at AUC campus and till then stay safe and um, stay happy. If you st we'll wait for another couple of minutes to see if you have any questions, if you would like to unmute yourself and ask anything or you can type it in the chat box. All right, thank you so much. You have been a wonderful audience and please don't worry, the recording of this video will be available to you. Thank you.